I'm going to show you how to get, to get uh, started on setting the settings for the MIG welder to do your wells. First thing I like to do is I like to check the chart. And uh, basically, on any MIG welder, you should have some kind of a chart on the inside. And so if you take a look up here, you see that there's a chart here describing what all the settings are. Now there's a lot of information on here and it's a little bit overwhelming um, because in any particular type of material, you have so many options on what the setting should be. Now the way that we choose it is we first look at what it's saying on the chart from left to right and we have to choose our material. So the question up here says what material are you welding? Well here's steel, stainless steel, there's all sorts of different types. We're going to just use steel. Then it says what wire types, and we are using solid wire. And then it says what kind of gas. We are using 100% CO2, and it says 25 cubic feet per hour, which is the setting that we uh, set our tank to already. So you just work your way across here. Now, you don't have to do this in the shop, because I've already put a star beside the category that, uh, uh, beside all of the uh, selection that we made. If you're at your home shop, or if you're in a workshop, and you were welding different types of materials, you would have to choose your material, choose your type of wire, and choose your type of gas in order to get to the right row here to tell you the settings. But there's a black star here on this machine telling us what our setup is. So if you take a look, we're using 0 0.035 inches. So 35 thousandths of an inch is how thick our wire is, or almost one millimeter thick. And here at the top of the chart is the different sizes of material. You can literally take your piece of metal and you can put it up against this chart and you can tell what the thickness of your metal is. Now let's just say I'm using one eighth of an inch steel. We're going to come down to our chart here. And so we can see we come along and we come down and it says 20 slash 220. So that's telling us what our settings need to be. That's telling us that our settings need to be uh, 20 for the voltage and 220 for the wire feed. And that's going to correspond to the front of the machine. Okay? Why don't you try? Can you tell me if we were welding, let's say half inch steel? Now let's go with 3 16 so You've got 3 16 steel. What would the settings be for our machine here? What would you set the voltage and wire feed to for 3 16 steel? If you're looking, at the 3 16 at the top here, and you're working your way down, you can see that the starting settings are 20.5 on the voltage and 245 on the wire feed. So it makes sense that we're going to use a little bit more voltage because the metal is thicker, so we need more heat. It also makes sense that we need a little bit more wire because the, the material is thicker, so we're going to need more metal to fill the gap in between the two pieces of metal. So this does make logical sense here. Okay. Now on the front of the machine, We'll take a look at the settings that correspond. So I'm going to close this up. Uh, we're going to set it up for 1 8 steel. You'll notice, by the way, while I'm moving this, that this tank here is chained. You have to make sure that that chain is on because I'm moving this machine around, and if that tank falls down and breaks this top valve off, if this was to snap off, we had a bottle rocket, and that's very dangerous. You have to either have a cover over this when it's not in use, and have it chained to the wall, or if you're going to take the cover off and attach a gauge and a machine to it, then you need to make sure it's chained to the machine so that there is no chance of this thing falling over, breaking and turning into a rocket, which is very dangerous. So I'm moving this back into position, into the corner, and I'm going to show you the front of the machine now. So come take a look here at the front. So we're going to turn on the power, and for 1 8th, we saw that we needed a uh, a power setting of 20-220. So 20 volts, let's turn this up until we get a 20. And you know what, if you can't get it absolutely bang on, it's not the end of the world. Oh, there we go, 20. And uh, the wire feed, we're setting to 220. And I think that stands for inches per minute. So it's like 220 inches every minute is gonna come out of this machine. So again, if you don't get it exact, oh, there you go, that's rare to get it exact. So that's the setting according to the chart. Now what you need to understand is that that's just a starting point because if you start welding with that, it's gonna work differently than if I start welding because we're two different people and we have different welding styles. So you have to set it to this setting and then you have to experiment. And in a later video, we will show you how to experiment to tweak these settings to get them perfect for what for whatever material you're welding, but it's just a good starting point.